So it looks like you needed my help after all. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I did, Foggy. You're right. You have any idea how no much problem with asking for help. Karen and me while you're off doing your own thing? No, but I'm sorry, Foggy. Maybe I was wrong to, to push you away. Okay, it's insanely hard to fight with you if you keep agreeing with me. <laughs> Good, because I don't want to fight with you. So oh, reunion. Go from here. I don't want to leave you, but I can't ask you to be a call system. I have to do now. What does that mean? Um, it means that uh, Matt's gonna kill Fisk. Yeah. That building falling on you really did mess up your head. We put him in prison, Foggy. Look what happened. It's not gonna be the same this time. Well, they're gonna throw him in some supermax hole on. where he can't compromise anybody. I know you're not that naive. It's called having faith in the system. Something you used to have. It's called facing the reality that some people are so rich and powerful, the system simply can't handle them. Wow. They actually are above the law. That's the bullshit that people like Fisk want you to believe. You're right, baby. Just hear him out. Fine. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. You want to give the law another try? Sure. I'm all ears. Simple. Step one. We work together. Step two, we come up with a plan, and step three, we execute that plan. Come on, man. It's genius. Come up with that by yourself. So I'm still working out the details. What about this? What about we find ourselves another witness? Someone who will flip on Fisk, but unlike Jasper Evans, we keep him alive. This time. Someone who that has the details of Fisk's criminal operation. Who has nothing to lose. Okay. No. Oh, we find someone who has everything to lose. Karen Page has been found. My PD took her into custody. The police. How? It was Agent Nadim's call. Uh oh. Your jacket. Sir? What? Give me your jacket. Um. Already kind of wearing one. What do you need it? I won't even fit you though. Holy God! Oh! What the heck? Holy freak! Clover. For Christ's sake! Yes, sir. Seema! Uh oh. Yeah. They're after. The... Oh, Jesus Christ! It's okay. It's okay, Sammy. I saw the broken face and I got worried. Dad, sorry. I knocked it over. Mom said she was going to clean it up later. Are you mad? Just for a few days, okay? Oh. I have to work. I want you to go away. Okay, some, someplace fun. I like Disney World. Yeah? I have to be right this minute. Wow. Hey, okay, Sammy? It'll, it'll be fine. We can be together. Yeah, don't fine. freak out the kids. Uh oh. Yo, the bathroom is freaking. Take Sammy into the bathroom and lie down in the tub now. Whoa. Come on, Nadine. Oh gosh. Holy luck. Holy luck. Oh, thank God, Matt. Every single time, just in time. Ah!
what? Obviously, I'm here to help you. Yeah! I sold you out to Fisk. I know you didn't want to, but I did. Doesn't mean he's gonna kill so you. Maybe you were here because you want to be the one that kills me before Fisk gets around to it. If we're gonna get your family someplace safe, you're gonna have to trust me. You saved Karen Page's life tonight. He's gonna let him know. So I owe you one. Wow! <laughs> So Kingpin is free, which is BS, and the FBI, you know, most, uh, majority of the episode was the FBI looking in, searching at the church for, um, Matt and Karen, and then also they were searching for Daredevil as well, which is also BS, because Dex is, oh, that was just such BS, how he just, he went in that alley, and then next thing you know, he shows up in his FBI suit as if, like, you know, I'm, hey, I'm here to search for Daredevil, and he's, ah, yeah. oh, man, that is just such BS how, that's, that's BS. It is such BS how the FBI is basically on Wilson, on Fisk's leash. Karen eventually showed herself, and thank God she was taken in by the NYPD instead of the FBI, because if she was taken in by them, she would be dead before anyone knew it, so, uh, Nadine... Basically, uh, let that officer in on, look, if you get Karen out of here or else she will be dead in no time. So, uh, and then they actually, you know, pretty much let her free. They, you know, he just parked somewhere and let her free. So she's not even under arrest. So that's good. And then th there was, it was basically like a little reunion between Matt, Foggy and Karen, because I think this is the first episode in season three that we've seen all three of them in one place together. Matt was telling them, you know, look, there's the, I, I once believed in the law, but it's the only way to stop Fisk, we've already tried prison. The only thing that's going to stop him is putting him down for good. And I'm not one who thinks killing people is the answer, you know, but with Fisk, I just don't see any other way. He's been in prison. He's manipulated the entire FBI. Okay. The, I, I can't, some, maybe like Foggy said, some supermax prison, like, like the raft. That's probably the only other, because, well, I don't know, because I think the raft only, is only for enhanced, only holds enhanced individuals. I mean, Falcon is an enhanced individual, and neither is Clint, you know, from Civil War when they were in the route. Neither is Scott Lang either. I, well, I don't know. They were in the route, and they would have been in there if Steve didn't break them out, so I don't think it's only for enhanced individuals. So, in King... The way Kingpin manipulates people and stuff, I could see him being put in the raft. So that's it. Other than him being killed, him being put in the raft is the only way that I could see him being stopped for good. And obviously, the raft. Obviously, it's all in the same universe, so he could go to the raft. It was mentioned multiple times in Jessica Jones. So the raft is definitely an option you know if they decide to go for that that's the only other thing i could see besides him being killed but i don't really see him being put into the raft so yeah and because of what nadine did to save karen's skin this it wow i was not expecting this i was like why do you need the do why do you need my man's why do you need man's jacket Okay, it's not even going to fit you. You already got some. I wasn't. Ex it wasn't worse. Nothing will top the slamming the dude's head off in the car door scene. Nothing will top that. But yeah, I just wasn't expecting that. 
And because of what Nadim did, Fisk basically has, you know, FBI on his family now. And so uh, his family needs to get out. And he put up a pretty good fight against the FBI, dodging bullets left and right. Matt came in clutch just in time. Once it happened, last episode, it happened a few episodes before that. Every single time, Matt always comes in clutch just in time. And Nadim doesn't know if he could trust anyone anymore. And also, since he ratted Daredevil out, he didn't know if, you know, Daredevil was there to go for the kill before Kingpin did. Um, but I actually really liked what Matt did. He was like, you saved Karen, you saved Karen's life. So I owe you this one. And he pulls off the mask and lets him know, man, I really liked that. That was cool. This was my reaction and review for Marvel's Daredevil season three, episode 11. Let me know what y'all thought of the video down below in the comments section. Links from my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel to enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. And ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a new video. My name is Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. I hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.